pass back on side was the boot. Boy, it's a great ball. Roy O'Donovan there for another tapping. Pulling clear in the early golden boot race. He's got five already this season in two games and 12 minutes. You think, OK, it's an easy tapping, but it's his movement. So there, Papadopoulos, or it's Luke Devere. He just loses him, runs. He's in between Corey Brown and Devere. And Devere's body position isn't great. It's a really good ball across, and it's a tap in. But it's his movement that allows him to get that tap in. Well deserved their goal lead at the moment. As I said, Bernie Merrick would maybe a little bit disappointed they haven't got another one. It's better from Holman. He rode through the challenge of Topol Stanley. Now he gets crossed, and it just eluded Bozia. But they get an own goal of Nigel Bogart. And he's luck turning for the Brisbane Roar. Terrific run, surging run, as we talked about from Brett Holman. Good early ball in from Hingert. And he's watched it right onto his bootlace. Baltiek's the one in the middle who fails. He misses it by quite some way, Baltiek. And then Bogart, well, oh, he could have even let that run because there's no one behind him. It's a horrible one. He's got five. Uh, Dare I ask three. who's first? Uh, wait a second. Give a little trivia question. Petratos! <laughs> Welcome back to Suncourt. Look at them backing off here. And they know he's got a strike and a half. Someone's got to gamble. Forget about the other players. The danger's there. You know Petrados can strike from this distance. You know he's got it in his locker. Well, he's pulled it out in the locker. What a brilliant strike. Some real violence from distance from Dimi Petrados. Ownership. That broke to Macaroni, but it came off a jet, so no offside flag. And look at that move. Massimo Macaroni! A little bit of class from the Italian. And it's back to 2-2. He got rid of two Jets defenders, and then he sold the goalkeeper with the eyes. Brilliant stuff from the Italian marksman. Really, there's only one place he can go, and there's two defenders on him. So he picks up this ball. Look, the defending's terrible. It's far too easy to come in this side, and then Duncan gets done. It's mistakes all over the place, but Newcastle up until this point have been excellent. Bogart, I'm not sure what his body shape is there, and Duncan. He's so disappointed. There's the ball. There's the run. He's got one thing in his mind. He always wants to come back in there, and they should know that. And here we go. See, it comes off Coletti here, but then does this come off Brisbane player and doesn't take? I reckon he's offside there, and the, the goal won't stand. I thought it might have flipped off a jet, but it was actually off a teammate. So I don't think this goal will count. The Jets are going to remain in the lead here. Ponga just discussing it with the official upstairs. Is that how you see it, Robbie? Is it conclusive he was offside? I think there's no doubt when it comes up in the car, you can see that he's in an offside position. He's going to award a free kick here. About when Popol Stanley is standing. Or is he? He's asking for the captains to come out so he can explain it. I think he's going to disallow it. He's got to watch his cool. Here we go. Offside the decision. All those celebrations for the equaliser for Macaroni. And then a minute and a half, maybe three minutes later, it's overruled for this. Comes off Mackay, doesn't touch the jet. And then Macaroni was a good couple of metres offside.